Okay, so in the last video we opened up our Bitbucket account, we grabbed uh, the WordPress startup repo that Mark Jackwith has created and we've imported that into our Bitbucket account. Now we've got this beautiful clean fresh in uh, you know startup uh, repository that we can use and we might want to use this multiple times so rather than uh, you know now cloning this onto our local environment making changes and pushing it back etc etc let's leave this um, repo as it is nice and clean and let's create a fork for us to be able to use on our local development and forking if you don't know what that is is pretty much like cloning um, a, a repo so we're going to go up the top here and we're going to click on fork okay and that's going to take us to a new screen and we can now give this a name so we can call this one we can call this development repo you can give it a description um, Okay, test repo for development, leave it as private and we'll now click fork repository. Again it's going to go through another screen where it's going to do all the all the, the details there and then it's going to bring you back um, to the actual fork that you've just created. Okay, so there we go. So we've got our development repo. So now let's place this onto our local environment. So um, grab this HTTPS link. So grab all of that and uh, copy that and we're now going to move to our um, our terminal window now you could probably be using um, the Mac terminal window or you could be using putty if you're on a PC um, I'm actually going to use my IDE I use Coda for my IDE and it actually has a really good terminal feature so it's already built in I can connect to my local host and that's all done so once we're in our terminal we need to go through to where we um, host our um, files so mine's in my sites um, folder there and we now need to do a clone now in the last video I walked through what the the Mark Jackwith's repo looks like and there's actually a sub module in there so generally what you would do is you would um, go and clone the um, the repository and then you would need to then grab the actual sub module as well and there is an easier way to do that and that is to simply uh, it's git and clone and it's dash 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 recursive and we then paste in the um, the URL of um, the Bitbucket uh, repo. Now if we just hit enter it's actually going to go ahead and do everything and it's going to create a folder called development-repo and I actually don't want my folder to be called that so we add in a space and you might see that my con naming convention is WP underscore and I'm going to put, put mine as WP development. So we then hit uh, return and it's going to it's going to go to our Bitbucket account and it's going to ask us for our password. Okay, so that's all done and then it's going to start um, going into the repository and grabbing it and uh, unpacking it for us. Now it can take a little bit of time depending on um, you know your connection and things like that. Um, so I'm actually going to leave this video here and let it um, finish grabbing everything and in the next video uh, we will go through some um, basic configurations before we do our installation of WordPress. Uh, but in the meantime as well also uh, go and create a um, now if I go into here, go into your uh, map and let's see we've got, go into your map here and create a database for your new installation. Alright, so I'll see you in the very next video. Okay, bye.